want you to consider the idea of value-based pricing. Your prices are based on the ultimate value you could bring to someone. Let's say you can make someone an extra $10,000 a month. A irresistible offer, as we call it, would be a one to five return. And a no-brainer offer, like it makes perfect sense, would be a one to 10 return. That's the easiest way to start doing it. If you can make them 10 grand, you can comfortably charge $1,000, no problem, all the way up to $2,000 pretty comfortably within that context of a five to one, 10 to one return. Now, if we're talking more about operational efficiency and time saving, that still saves people a lot of money. So have that discussion around either money made or time saved and what that time saved is worth in terms of money. So when you get to your actual price of your offer, it's anchored against the value your client receives for this. And what does it actually cost you to fulfill the offer? Typically, we want to see around 40% profit margins, ideally a little bit higher, but that would mean it costs you no more than 60% of what you charge to fulfill that actual offer. If you know it costs you $600 to fulfill, then the bare minimum you can charge is $1,000. And the bare minimum a client could have in terms of an ROI at $1,000 would be 5,000. That's that one to five return there.